Hello boys and girls. Thank you for joining me as we take time out with be Miss Harper as we take some time to practice our mindfulness. First, we're going to have a little recap on what we've been learning so far. Let's reflect on your journey so far. You have been developing your ability to, to focus your attention and to bring awareness to your daily activities and how you experience the world around you. You have been practicing how to achieve a mindful body, to use your mindful listening and to practice moving in a mindful way. This week, we're going to learn about heartfulness. Heartfulness is a word that we use to describe the positive attitude and emotions that are linked to mindfulness. It practices the skills of kindness, self-compassion and gratitude. We nurture these positive characteristics so that you can build emotional resilience that will help to keep you healthy during a stressful, challenging time in your life. Today, we are going to focus on kindness and self-compassion. We are going to learn how to send kind wishes to others and also how to foster an attitude of kindness and self-compassion towards yourself. These are very important skills to develop because kindness and self-compassion influence your actions and reactions in a positive beneficial way to the world around you, to others around you and to yourself. It helps you to relate to what happens around you day in and day out. Last week you spent some time talking about expressing yourself, to be able to be who you are and to let other people know what you're thinking and what you're feeling, that you could talk about your feelings to other people. You've also been learning about paying attention to things that are going on around you, to pay attention to what's going on inside of you and to be aware of what's going on around you too. When we're more aware of our surroundings, it means that we become part of those surroundings. So the more that you are aware of them, the more you can be involved. Also, last week, you were practicing the butterfly body scan. When you had to pay attention and be curious about different feelings and sensation in your bodies. You were introduced to the idea that if you imagined their butterfly, your butterfly gently resting on an uncomfortable sensation in your body, then it helped you to let go of that feeling, to feel better and to become calm and relaxed. Let's move on to what we're going to be practicing this week. Your learning intentions for today are that you are becoming more aware of and are developing the ability to talk about your feelings using appropriate words. To learn to be kind to yourself and to accept that your thoughts can change the way that you feel. To learn 
that what you think changes how your body feels and how your body feels can change what you think. To understand that we all experience a variety of thoughts and feelings that affect how we feel and behave and are learning ways of managing them to help us to make good choices. We're also going to be learning that if you are kind to yourself and let go of any difficult thoughts or feelings, that it helps you to be more comfortable, more calm and relaxed. Before we start our lesson today, we are going to do some of our mindful breathing to help us to get into our mindful body. But before we do that, I want you to find a quiet, comfortable spot to be in for the next little while. I think the most sensible idea would to be at your seat, with your feet flat on the floor and your back nice and straight against the back of your chair. Make sure you have a little bit of space around you in case you need it. And you're going to need the Adventurer's Diary. We'll talk more about our following task in a little while. We're going to practice our breathing to help us to get into our mindful bodies. Last time we managed to do two minutes, so this week we're going to try for two and a half minutes this time. So Make sure you're sitting in a comfortable position in your anchor spot, maybe in your chair, laying down on the floor, or sitting on the floor. You're going to take some slow deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. You can close your eyes or you can lower your gaze. When you hear the sound of the gong, we'll begin. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in and out. Focus only on your breathing and in the sound of the gong. Breathe in Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. You should start to feel all of the stress leaving your body and you should be starting to feel more relaxed. You might feel yourself sinking into your anchor spot a little, but that's okay. You should be nice and still. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. All the stress, leave your body as you relax. Breathe 
breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. doing really well. Breathe in and out. And for the last time, breathe in and out. Well done everyone. You should all be feeling a good bit more relaxed now. We're going to continue our lesson now to see if you can remember what we've practiced so far in our mindfulness lessons. We've practiced our mindful listening to different sounds for mindful breathing, we've been learning to pay attention, to concentrate and to know that it helps it make it easier for us to learn. We've been practicing our mindful movement and looking at what autopilot is and how we can switch off autopilot by becoming more aware of our thoughts and our feelings and the sensations in our bodies in our daily activities. So today we are going to move on and we are going to learn about heartfulness. Okay, we are going to start our lesson the way we always do. We're going to start by shaking all the wriggles out of your arms and legs to help us to relax. Can you all stand up tall, straight like a soldier, with your arms by your side? Make sure that you're not standing near anyone else, that you have some distance between you and that this, the area around you is safe. Now we're going to take three slow breaths in and out. I will talk you through it. I want you to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth and last time breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth well done everyone now you will see on your screen that we have two friends who are moving they are getting the wriggles out of their bodies and that is what we're going to be doing right now. You are going to be listening for the instructions and then you are going to carry them out together. So I will give you the instructions and you are going to copy them. Can you raise your arms up as high as you can and spread your fingers wide like a starfish? Now wriggle all of your fingers for a moment and then we will put our arms down by our side. Let's see those fingers wriggle to get all of the wriggles out of them and slowly put your arms down by your side. Now I want you to stand up on your tiptoes and then back down again. On your tiptoes and down again. One more time. On your tiptoes and down again. 
Now I want you to stand on your right leg. Now be careful when you're doing this. You can be a little bit wiggly. So very gently, if you're near your desk and you have to hold on or your chair, that's fine, you can do that. So we're going to stand on your right leg and you're going to lift up your left leg. Then you're going to wriggle it about a bit. Now we're going to change over and do the same thing with your left leg. Stand on your left leg and lift up your right foot and wiggle it about. Now we'll finish by wriggling your whole body. We're going to do this very gently. Can you do that? Wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. How does it feel? Are you all wriggled out now? Excellent. Now, slowly sit back down in your chair. We're going to take three slow deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Fantastic boys and girls, well done. We're going to start our lesson as we normally do by breathing and taking time to notice what is going on around us. To stop and take a breath till we gradually relax and become more aware of what is going on around us. Let's recap on what we did last week. Did you all remember to eat mindfully over the last few days? Did you remember to ask your family if they would like to join you in some mindful eating? We are going to begin our session with some mindful breathing. We need our mindful breathing before we start our practice so that we can get into our mindful bodies. Now we are going to do some practicing. This week, we are going to be talking about popping bubbles. Our friend Louise is going to take you through step by step what we are going to do. I want you to listen carefully to the instructions so that you know what to do. As you sit in your mindful body or lie on your mat, take a deep breath in, filling your tummy up like a balloon. And as you breathe out, relax your face, your neck, your arms, your body, your legs and your tummy. Take another deep breath in and out. Now, let's imagine that you're holding a bubble wand in your hand. It can be any size you would like, big or small. It can be any shape that you'd like, round, square, flower or even heart shaped. Now imagine that you take your wand and dip it into a bowl of frothy, 
bubble mixture. As you hold your wand full of bubble mixture, think of an uncomfortable feeling that's been sticking around in your mind or a worry that's been bothering you recently. It can be anything, big or small. If you'd like, you can choose a word to describe that uncomfortable feeling or worry, like nervous, sad, angry, lonely or scared. Now, I'd like you to imagine that you're going to blow a big bubble through your wand and imagine putting your uncomfortable feeling or worry into your bubble. Think of what your bubble will look like. What colour is it? It can be any colour that you'd like it to be. It could be pink, green, blue, yellow or lots of colours just like a rainbow. Now take a deep, slow breath in and as you breathe out imagine you're blowing your feeling or worry into a big bubble. Just imagine the bubble wrapping up your worry as you blow it gently through your wand. Take another deep breath and as you breathe out, just imagine blowing your coloured bubble further away. And as you see the bubble floating away, imagine that it's taking with it whatever is bothering you. Wave your bubble goodbye as it floats away. As you imagine what's worrying you floating away in your bubble, notice that your bubble pops and disappears. Take one last deep breath and notice how you feel to have let go of your worry bubble. When you're ready, Gently open your eyes and if you're lying on your mat, sit up nice and slowly. Well done everyone. You're becoming expert adventurers. How do you feel now? Have you calmed all the wriggles out of your body? And do you feel nice and relaxed, ready to begin our next mindfulness lesson? Today we are going to practice some mindfulness magic. Last week we were practicing expressing how we were feeling and that we were using a butterfly landing gently on the sp on your spot and as it was resting softly on your tummies we noticed our butterfly helped us to become calm and relaxed so that we could let go of any uncomfortable feeling Thinking about the butterfly magically worked to help us feel better. Well, today we are going to see if there are other ways that mindfulness can help us to feel a lot better when we're feeling uncomfortable or worried about something. Are you ready to learn some more mindfulness magic? I hope so. I want you to sit on your chairs, feet on the floor, back straight against the back of the chair and we're going to get into your mindful bodies. We're going to zip up our mindfulness body and we're going to gently close your eyes or you can lower your gaze instead. 
Now we're going to practice some mindful thinking and being mindful of our thoughts. If you would like, you could choose a word to describe that uncomfortable feeling or worry, like nervous, sad, angry, lonely or scared. I'd like you to imagine that you're going to blow a big bubble through your wand and imagine putting that uncomfortable feeling or worry inside your bubble. Have a think of what your bubble will look like. What colour is it? It can be any colour that you like it to be. It could be pink or green or blue or yellow or lots of colours just like a rainbow. Now take a deep, slow breath in. And as you breathe out, imagine you are blowing this feeling or worry into a big bubble. Just imagine that the bubble is wrapping up your feeling or your worry as it gently blow it in through your wound. Take another deep breath and as you breathe out, just imagine blowing your coloured bubble further away and as you see the bubble floating away I want you to imagine that it's taking with it whatever is bothering you. Wave your bubble goodbye as it floats away. As you imagine what's worrying you floating away in your bubble, notice that your bubble pops and disappears. Take one last deep breath and notice how you feel to have let go of your worry bubble. When you're ready, gently open your eyes or lift up your gaze. Sitting nice and tall. Well done everyone, you did so well there while you were imagining blowing away your worry bubbles. Now I want you to think of things that were bothering you that you put inside of your bubble. What type of things were bothering you? Is there a word that you could choose for that uncomfortable feeling or worry? Did you choose a colour for your bubble that you think helped to describe that uncomfortable feeling or worry? Did it help to blow away your bu worry bubble and wave it goodbye? Then imagine it popping and disappearing. Do you think that blowing away your worry bubble helped to make you feel better? Today we have been learning some more about mindfulness magic. We have learned that as well as taking care of our bodies, we also need to be kind to ourselves by practicing mindful thinking and being mindful of our thoughts. Do you remember how it made us feel when we practiced sending kind wishes to ourselves? When we practice sending kind wishes to ourselves, it helps us to feel happy and warm inside, in just the same way as someone we love giving us a big hug. 
How does it feel when something makes us uncomfortable or worries us? Like being angry, scared, anxious or embarrassed. It can make us feel bad in different ways. It can give us sensations that you may experience, maybe uncomfortable sensations. For example, you might have butterflies in your tummy or a tingling or itchy muscles, sweaty hands, you might blush. The connection between what we're thinking and the way we feel is called an emotion. We can have lots of different emotions. Happy, sad, angry, nervous, excited and so on. Some emotions make us feel good, like when we're happy. Other difficult emotions can make us feel uncomfortable or worry us. So we try to push the emotion away, to ignore it or bottle it up inside. That only makes us feel a whole lot worse and the bad feeling just sticks around a whole lot longer. So while we're doing our do be mindful adventurers, it's important that we learn to be mindful of our thoughts because sometimes they can make us feel bad. When we are aware or that we notice that something is making us feel uncomfortable or is worrying us, then it's important that we are kind to ourselves by practicing some mindfulness magic. Imagine your bubble wand as we did today. Think about a word or a colour for your difficult emotion or whatever is bothering you and simply blow it away in a worry bubble. As you wave goodbye to your bubble and imagine it popping and disappearing, notice how it helps you to let go of what is worrying you, helping you to become more comfortable, calm and relaxed. So let's look back at our learning intentions to see if we have been successful. Our learning intentions were to become more aware of and develop the ability to talk about your feelings using appropriate words. To learn to be kind to yourself and to accept that your thoughts can change the way that you feel. To learn that what I think changes how my body feels and how my body feel how my body feels can change what I think. To understand that we all experience a variety of thoughts and emotions that affect how we feel and how we behave, and that we're learning ways of managing them. An example of this was blowing our worry bubble and watching it as it floats away and then pops. We are beginning to learn that if you are kind to yourself and let go of difficult thoughts and emotions, it helps you to feel more comfortable, calm and relaxed.
We have now come to the end of our session. During this week, I want you to practice blowing our worry bubbles whenever we feel bad, sad, uncomfortable or upset. Just take a moment to take a few deep breaths and then we imagine that we are blowing a bubble and we are going to put that feeling inside. We're going to watch it blow away and then pop into the air. You're going to complete your Popping Bubbles worksheet in your Doobie Mindful Adventurer's workbook. I want you to repeat your daily practice twice a day. You need to remember to get into a comfortable spot and practice our mindful breathing. And I want you to tune in next week when we will have another lesson in mindfulness. Thank you so much for joining me today, boys and girls. And I can't wait to speak to you next week. <laughs>